Hey guys, it's Sharkjaw here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can use the solid modeling tools and how this will improve your game. So let's get into it. So as you see, we're loaded up into Studio right now, and the first thing we're going to do is actually locate these tools. So you're most likely under Home, you just want to go to Model, and then under Model, you should see this category right here, Solid Modeling, and then you should see these three things. Now they might not be highlighted, but Union, Negate, and Separate. And first we're going to discuss union, go to negate, and negate's going to lead a little bit back to union, and then separate deals with all of them. So let's get into it. So first I'm going to start by just placing down a part right here, and I'll just scale it to show you guys. So let's say I have this block right here, and I'm just going to duplicate it right here. And I have these two blocks right here. Now, union is kind of like grouping it. So if I just highlighted these two, and I hit Control G or Command G, you'd see they group it. And in the Explorer right here, we get a model, and then we have two parts within it, and we can select these parts. But with a union, if we revert these back to two parts, with a union, if you unionize these two, they just become one union, and you can't select the parts within them. And although it looks like you can change the color of them, you really can't. If you just click any color, it does nothing. So yeah, that's like union. And now we're gonna be talking about negate. Now negate leads back into union. So for negate, I'll just grab this right here and we'll just try to make a door frame. So I'll make this right here and I'm just gonna duplicate it again. Make the size of your door frame with the scaling tools. And I think that's good. And then you can even expand it out to show you visually what's happening. And then I'll just change the color for demonstration purposes. So here we have it. So this would be the size of our doorway. Now, how do we cut this through? So first thing we want to do is we want to select this, what we want our door frame to be. And then we want to hit negate. And you'll see it becomes semi-transparent. And that's what we want. And then make sure you actually scale it to the size you want and not to do it while it's negated. Because what will happen is it will be turned into a type of uh, part that actually doesn't scale well, it just scales up and down. So yeah, you wanna make sure it's the correct size. And then you wanna highlight them both and hit union. And what this will do is it'll make a cutout. Now you see, we still have some excess there. And that's just because we needed to drag this down more and then press, oops, and then negate this and then unionize this. And then we have our doorway and that's negating stuff. Now the net last thing is separation and how separation works is you just want to click on the union that you just created and hit separate and basically what this will do it will bring back your recently negated parts and unionized parts and this can even be done with the example shown in the first step so if we have these two we unionize them and then we actually don't want them unionized and we don't want to hit control Z or command Z. Just hit separate and they come into two separate parts just like that. And yeah, that's the solid modeling tools. I hope this guide was able to give you some information and help you improve your building in the future. And yeah, with that, that's going to be the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Peace.